So lots of traders like the idea of trading options, buying cheap calls on stocks they're bullish on and cheap puts on stocks they're bearish on, trying to make cheap, quick profits. But for lots of reasons, these trades often turn out badly because to buy an option cheaply means that it's got to be pretty far from the current price of the market. So the market has to move pretty far for that option to expire with any value at all. Well, that can be a frustrating experience for traders. In fact, traders don't really realize this, but 75% of all options expire worthless because the market never gets down to the level of their put or up to the level of their call. In fact, the market can go exactly the direction the trader predicted and they still lose money on their trade and that's because the market ran out of time to give their option value. If the option had expired a few days later, they might have made money. Instead, the trader has to sit and watch the market do exactly what he thought it would do, yet he lost his entire investment in that option because it expired too soon. Well, what if there was a way to turn this whole situation on its head and instead put together a combination of options that guarantees a profit if the market rallies and at the same time is designed such that if the market sells off in a reasonable fashion, a possibility for a really spectacular return exists? Well, the good news is that there actually is a 10-day trade that does just that and it really is not that difficult to learn or understand. So if you're interested in a weekly option strategy that's guaranteed to win if the market rallies, wins if the market sells off mildly, and has the potential for spectacular gain if the market gradually sells off during the course of the trade, then I'm sure you're going to be interested in this video, so stick around. Hi, I'm Seth Freuberg and I'm the head trader of SMB Capital's options trading desk here in Manhattan. SMB Capital is a proprietary trading firm located in Midtown Manhattan and we provide capital for options and equity traders from all over the world trading both remotely and in our offices here in New York City. You'll want to click our subscribe button right now so that you don't miss any of our free trading videos produced for the trading and investment community. Now, in this video, we're going to be reviewing a weekly option strategy using a formation known as the broken wing butterfly. And we're going to be setting it up so that it is guaranteed to win if the market stays still or rallies over the 10-day life of the trade. That's the easy part, which is quite rewarding on its own. But what I think you're going to find particularly interesting is what can happen to the trade if the market actually sells off gradually during the course of the trade. That's where the lottery ticket sized returns can happen, but you've got to set the trade up right in the first place to give you this combination of potential outcomes. I'll be showing you just how to do that exactly in a few moments. While we're talking about option strategies, if you'd like to learn three more real world option strategies that our traders use, including the surprisingly simple and powerful strategy that some of the greatest investors in the world like Warren Buffett use all the time, plus, an options trading strategy that has a statistical 80% probability of profit month in and month out, plus an option strategy that you can employ with a stock that you like where you'll make your target profit, whether the stock goes up, goes nowhere, or even goes down a small percentage, then you should check out the free options class that we're currently running. Just go ahead and click the link that should be appearing right now at the top right corner of your screen. That will open the free registration page in a new window, so don't worry, you won't lose this video. You can also visit optionsclass.com to register for this free intensive workshop. Now, it's an extremely rare opportunity for retail traders and investors to learn directly from Wall Street traders, but that's exactly what you'll be getting through this free online workshop. So click the link to sign up now and don't miss it. All right, so let's get started. You're probably all familiar with equity options, where a call buys you the right to buy 100 shares of a stock at the strike price of that option any time before the option expires. And a put option entitles you to sell 100 shares at the strike price of the put before that option expires. But there are also index options, which work similarly to equity options, except there's no such thing as 100 shares of an index like the S&P 500. You can't buy or sell 100 shares of an index but what you can do through index options is get paid in cash, $100 per point, 
if the index expires above the strike price of an index call that you buy, or alternatively, you'd be paid $100 per point for each point the index drops below the strike price of your index put. So, for example, if an index is trading at 1400 and you buy the 1410 call, if the index goes to 1415, you'd receive $500 in your account. If the index closes at 1410 or lower, your call expires worthless. On the other side of the ledger, if you buy a 1385 put and the market sells off down to 1375, you'd make $1,000. But if the market just sold off to 1385 or higher, the put would expire worthless. So those are the basics of index options. And remember, you can buy options, but your broker will allow you to sell options also. And you can put together combinations of options. In other words, option strategies that involve both short and long options purchased in a way that's advantageous to you as a trader. So let's take a look at an example of that. Okay, so here's an option chain for an index trading at about 1724 on this day in early September of this year. Incidentally, this is a real index and these are real historical prices, but I don't want you to get hung up on which index or what time period because I want you to understand the principles involved so that you can apply them to any index and, and any time frame. Now, the day we're looking at on this options chain is 10 days from the expiration of that chain. Now, if you go down to the 1700 put, 24 points below the market, and buy 10 of those puts, that would cost you $5,550 because each option contract would cost 550 and we're buying 10 of them. So that would cost us 10 times $550 or $5,550. Now, let's move down to the 20 1690 puts that we're selling for 380 per contract. Since we're selling 20 of those, we're receiving cash of $7,600 for those 20 short puts. Finally, we're buying below the short put as protection 10 of those 1670 puts for $1,900. So if you do the math on all this, you'll see that by adding up the costs and income from the three options we bought and sold, you actually get a net credit of $150 for this transaction. So that $150 will go into your account right after you execute this transaction. So that's the starting point of the trade and your broker will require $9,850 of capital for this trade for that 10 day period. Okay, now let's break down the actual potential outcomes of this trade. So here's the great thing. When you enter any trade, the market can only do one of five things, right? It can go up a lot, it can go up a little, it can do nothing, it can go down a little, or it can go down a lot, right? Well, with this trade in four of those five scenarios, you would walk away with that $150 that you collected up front simply by just letting the options expire. Now, how would that happen? Remember now, this index is trading at 1724. So let's think about it. If the market rallies, sits absolutely still, or even drops 24 points, what happens to the value of those options on expiration day? In other words, if the market drops to 1700 and stops on expiration, what would the value of the options be? Well, as you can see, all of the puts will have no value. The 1700 put has no value because the market's not below 1700. Rather, it's at 1700. So that expires worthless. And obviously, the 1690 and 1670 options are also worthless because those are even lower down from where the market closed on expiration day. But remember, you got in $150 at the beginning of the trade. That went into your account. That doesn't go anywhere. You don't lose that. You get to keep that. So with this trade in four of the five possible outcomes that we talked about, you'd make money. If the market had gone up a lot from 1724, gone up a little from 1724, stayed at 1724, or gone down a little, as in the case of the market dropping to 1700, in all of those cases, you walk away with the $150 because in all four of those cases, all of the options would expire worthless. And I haven't even gotten to the fascinating part. There's another scenario that you might not have even considered. What if the market drops below 1700 but never actually gets to those 20 short options at 1690? Well, let's analyze what would happen in that case. And in fact, that is pretty much exactly what happened in this historical case. The index actually did expire at 1691.80 10 days later, the last trading day for those options. Now, this is not a common occurrence, but it does happen now and then. And when it does happen, the outcome can be incredible. So let's take a look at the math on the actual scenario which occurred. 
Well, with the index closing at 1691.80, the 1700 put now, in fact, has value, doesn't it? Specifically, we had 10 options that expired in the money by $8.20, and they each represented $100 for each point below 1700. So since we own 10 of those, it comes out to 10 times $8.20 times $100, or a total profit of $8,200 for that 1700 put. Well, the other ones, the 1690 and the 1670, well, the market didn't reach those, so they just died worthless. And so think about what happened. You got in the 150 originally, plus the trade paid off another $8,200 because of the value of that 1700 put on expiration, which is a total profit of $8,350. Now, your broker, as you might remember, required capital of $9,850. So in this case, you made an 84% return in 10 days. Now, again, I'm not saying this is a common occurrence. But if this happens even every, even once a year, it would be pretty helpful in terms of your overall account returns for the year on top of those weeks where you just booked your original credit, which again would happen in four of the five market outcomes anyway. So what is the major takeaway from this example that we've shown you today? Well, we've shown you that there is a way to combine options for a short term index options trade that can provide you with a guaranteed profit in four of the only five scenarios that can happen with a trade as we reviewed. And more excitingly, there's a pretty spectacular outcome that can occur if the market moves down in an orderly way such that the short puts in the strategy expire worthless. So it's exciting to think that you can execute a strategy that while it certainly can lose money in certain circumstances, that's true of any trade, it works out very well in so many different scenarios as long as you know how to put that trade together correctly in the first place. Just to remind you, as I said earlier, if you enjoyed the video and would like to learn three more real-world option strategies that our traders use, including the surprisingly simple and powerful strategy that some of the greatest investors in the world, like Warren Buffett, use all the time, plus an options trading strategy that has a statistical 80% probability of profit month in and month out, plus an option strategy that you can employ with a stock that you like where you'll make your target profit whether the stock goes up, goes nowhere, or even goes down a small percentage, then you should check out the free options class that we're currently running. Just go ahead and click the link that should be appearing now at the top right corner of your screen. That will open up the free registration page in the new window so that you don't lose this video. It's an extremely rare opportunity for retail traders and investors to learn directly from Wall Street traders, but that's exactly what you'll be getting through this free online workshop. So click the link to sign up now and don't miss it. Now, one more thing I'd like you to do is go ahead and click our subscribe button so you don't miss any of our trading videos produced for the trading and investing community. And while you're at it, add your feedback in the comment section for what videos you'd like us to produce next, as well as what you found helpful from this video. So from all of us at SMB, trade well.